you ready for a virtual reality? Mm. Although not really virtual reality, it's kind of augmented reality instead. In 2007, the concept of that. 2004. Is that? I think. I think it's the 2007 that the other one. Did it? Yeah. Oh, or well, whatever. 2010. I like how in the intro the fucking car is the presidential version. It's got the flags on it and stuff. Well, he's still the president. I mean, he's yeah. <laughs> I love how there's just that continuity throughout most of it. Unrest in the Dakotas. Dispatch equal numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. They can take it up with my new press secretary. The Mametron 9000. If that's the guys from Air <laughs> tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist and a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. <laughs> Where do we start? The horror. The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. You will never guess where. Convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. <laughs> no idea. Let's go. Anyway, the answering machine's back. Hello, Mr. President. This is Margie, your scheduling assistant with some changes for this week. You still have impeachment hearings on Monday <laughs> and Thursday, but the one on Wednesday has been pushed back for your war crimes trial. Thanks. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. President. Just a reminder that you're still scheduled to visit middle schools this week to remind kids of the importance of staying in school. As usual, we'll have therapists on hand after your speech to talk with the more traumatized children. <laughs> this is so fucking hilarious. One more thing, Mr. President. Your opponents have finally decided to cancel their weekly election ballot recount. According to your calendar, that should free up the hour and a half each week you have marked as time to glow. <laughs> I wonder what souvenir we got from the There's last the one. I think it actually is the hat. No, it's the head. <laughs> Even if he was just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pipe. <laughs> I think Leonard has a different dialogue too. Hungry Leonard? Okay, maybe later then. Just leave that in there. It's kind of fucked up. You know? Lincoln's head, still at large. Lincoln's head is still at large. Very large. Hey, yo. So this is like the makeshift Oval Office then? Because he put the president's rug down. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I think that's the fucking... <laughs> anyway. Hugh Bliss is nowhere to be found as well. Cancelled due to lack of interest. I think it said cancelled. Hansel? Hansel? It's so hot right now. Anyway, better beta testing and better beta back talk. So, what's civil have to offer this time? Aside from beta testing. Also, future me, I'd like you to sort of uh, do a frame pause on that ice cream truck. Have you? I'm surrounded. 
I really want to see what it says. Stand back, Max. It sounds like Sybil's finally cracked. It's about time. Her relative stability was making the rest of the neighborhood look bad. Back, pit demons. With sword of righteous fire, I cast thee away. This is just like that time we were hired as motivational speakers for that Sunday school. Actually, now that I look closely, it's more like our last case. And the three before that. If there's one thing I've learned to recognize recently, it's a hypnotic device. And those weird glasses are it. Launch singing BBs of unholy smiting. To break her out of the trance, we'll have to deliver a blow to her head. You know, Sam, when you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. <laughs> uh. Back, demons. Cast ward of pungent unsavoriness. Glad we just coincidentally have the boxing glove. I don't think you can actually do anything with it. Where this intercom goes, nobody knows. Um. Just checking. You know? Because, uh. It's locked. It's locked. The bug's kind of important in this one, just saying. So I don't think you can actually do anything with Sybil, it's just sort of to show that she's uh, under hypnosis. So let's try uh, checking out Bosco's, huh? Looks like corn again. <laughs> I don't think we've had corn yet. In fact, we definitely haven't. Jimmy Two Teeth and a cannon. Well, if it isn't our favorite ethically challenged brat, Jimmy Two Teeth. Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm touched. I was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. That's right, he's fucking with Bosco now or something. What's a two-bit crook like you trying to sell this time? I'll ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest in interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. <laughs> I'm dealing peace of mind. What have you got in stock? That cannon. Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've already got handguns. Oh, yeah? Where? Just trust him on that one. <laughs> How much for that cannon? It's not for sale. Worst arms dealer ever. It's not for sale to you guys. I don't sell to the police. Call it my own ethical code. But we're just barely police. <laughs> yeah. Sell us the cannon, Jimmy. I already told you, it's not for sale. You need to get the cannon. Freelance police, Mr. Teeth. You're under arrest. Come along quietly and we'll only use excessive force instead of medieval. <laughs> Just try it, pig. Last time I checked, it was a free country. I'm working on that. <laughs> uh... Now, I don't... Been up to, Jimmy? I actually don't know if there's anywhere to drive. In the distorto. Because, um... Lounging in the White House pond? Who was lounging, smart guy? I was networking. Turns no. out D.C.'s a great place to get tips on being an arms pro. Maybe it was a bad idea to move the Oval Office back here, Sam. <sighs> Are you still running with the skin bodies? I find I no longer agreed with their extremist views. More like you got a little chilly. Or got tired of seeing your repulsive pink flesh every morning. Let's just say I left for a variety of reasons. Yeah. 
It's not too late to make an honest rat out of yourself, Jimmy. Or a bookend, or a doorstop. <laughs> People want weapons. I sell them weapons. What could be more honest? There you are. See you later, Jimmy. Maybe if you can find me. Hey, hands off the merchandise, pig. I thought he just taps it and it fires. Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Start. As president, I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Get me out of here! Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. <laughs> anyway, let's talk to Bosco. Hey, Bosco. Greetings and well met, friend Watchman. <laughs> fucking elf now. How come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight or flight response. I am El Bosco Grill, the <laughs> unhinged, mighty. Range. <laughs> okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? Hot elf, and I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies. I've had missiles aimed at me, and now I got rival arms dealers setting them shop in my store. What do you mean? It's not safe for me here anymore. I gotta take my business to only place I can feel 100% secure. The internet. What does this internet doohickey have to do with being an elf? Oh, elf! <laughs> it's because everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar. Like a dwarf or an orc or a hot young 15 year old girl curious about the adult world and willing to experiment. Good old 2007. Actually less creepy as the elf. Have elf fool! Ah, never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. Uh, you're taking your store online? Where will that leave us? We fear and mistrust computers. Don't worry, guys. My online store will offer twice the inconvenience at thrice the price. <laughs> well, see you there. <laughs> we want to buy something. I have the finest goods in all the land. Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. What would Squire care to purchase? Now, what has he got this time? What have you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right. Biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam. But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I've got to compete to stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer is going to open up shop in my store, I've got to up the ante. Now, how much is this? All right. How much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? One billion dollars. We'll take it. <laughs> What's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry. For safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. I just realized the fucking poster back here. <laughs> this seems oh, sorry, a nice touch. Nothing for us now. Yeah. I wish, but don't blame me when you're stuck in this forced wasteland with nary a bag of enchantment to defend that. I do not care, Bosco, about bags of enchantment. God, I wish I could roll my 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 eyes like that. You know that. I also wish that my lips work sometimes, and I don't go dab dab dab. You know, fucking <laughs> canned mutton. I do like how the scenery changes every time, pretty much. This gumball machine looks pretty banged up. A gang of about five dentists came through the other night, and four of them just started beating the hell out of it. What did the fifth one do? He kept sobbing and saying, why can't we all just get along? <laughs> anyway, so... Now that we've got a rat in a cannon, what could possibly do with that? That's changed. Did it? Not behind the actor. Uh. 
I didn't know I did that. <laughs> I also like the fact that there is a, a rat cannon in this game. I feel like most games should have at least one rat cannon. Yeah, Resident Evil would be my favorite. What happened? Am I at the respawn point? No. Nope. Keep counting on to us? <laughs> Sybil, we freed you from those wacky techno goggles. Did you guys just hit me in the head with a rat fired from a cannon? It doesn't sound as cool when you say it. <laughs> I hope you're not overly peeved. It was the only way to break your hypnotic trance. I wasn't hypnotized. I was playing a computer game. No need to thank us. We're freelance police. It's what we do. <laughs> thank you. You guys just ruined my new job. Your new job was flailing around like a hyperactive fan dancer while screaming gibberish? That job's already taken, lady. We're freelance police. It's what we do. <laughs> I'm a beta tester. I was playing Reality 2.0 with those goggles. And look, you broke them. And I haven't even paid off the deposit. I don't think you need to pay deposit when you're a beta tester. <laughs> ah, Reality 2.0. I suspected as much. If they pay you the deposit, I'm pretty sure. Are you doing a beta tester? No, but that's uh, it. Just doesn't seem right. Except it's AI. The biggest thing on the internet. Thanks. Never pegged you as a computer geek, Sybil. How'd you get the job? I was checking job listings online and found one right next door. Lefty's back? I can't wait to see him. Sam, have you seen my good machete? <laughs> no, Lefty's gone. Now that space is being used by the cops. Poor Lefty. The cops moved into our neighborhood? Some. Not <laughs> police. It's an acronym for, well, for something I can't remember. Are you oh yeah, the, the, the cops! cops. <laughs> <laughs> These cops guys must be behind our computer crisis. I totally forgot about them. What's a beta tester? <laughs> which is, to find bugs that which is dumb them. because they're so good. Don't you have to have experience to do that? All you do is go through somebody else's hard work and point out what they did wrong. I was a therapist, remember? <laughs> uh. What's wrong with the goggles? You broke them, that's what. It looks like the rear slot downstream signal that regurgitator chip is blown out. He has no idea what he's talking about, does he? Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> See you around, Sybil. Look for me in the unemployment line. Ah. I think sometimes the tiger head up here can, like the tiger clock does something. They're broken. Oh, okay, they're broken. Guess there's no use for it then. That's right. I think sometimes the fox roars. Jitter cola is so addictive, even taxidermy foxes can't get enough. I like how the sign just keeps somehow fitting these. Yeah, I know. Like, I think the sign actually got taller. It must be. Now I'm just gonna check. I don't think there actually is anywhere you can go with a Distoto. It's like there's nowhere to go. Nowhere in this old rust bucket. At least not until we get it fixed. Oh, right. Sorry about that. I didn't realize it was an important piece until the explosion. <laughs> I mean, now we can go into lefties. This is where the fun begins. The uh, main mechanic of this one. Next item on the agenda. If you'd like to talk about the big fail and raffle, press one now. If you know the name of the topic you'd like to raise, press two now. I'm hunger! Stumbled into the warehouse where Steve Wozniak makes erotic movies. Proximity alert! <laughs> Proximity! Need your business. Need your business. 
You know, I can do that voice too. <laughs> What's the big idea hypnotizing our friend Sybil with your kinky goggles? Sybil, P A N D E M I K. My name is Microsoft Zen. <laughs> He's my favorite. We think your reality 2.0 game may be causing havoc with computers around the globe. up computers all over the world with your game and you're all dangerously overclocked the whole place reeks of solder <laughs> you're all going to have to come with us keep your plugs and levers where we can see them we have done nothing wrong we're working together with the internet combining the untapped processing power of the world these guys are hilarious a whole new reality <laughs> wait the internet it makes sense the internet rocks. The internet knows everyone. By making use of its multiple networks of personal contact with other machines, the internet has gathered the sheer computing power necessary to instantiate reality 2.0. Fine, but where does the hypnosis come in? Reality 2.0 is rated E for everyone. Everyone, all the fall. There is no escape. Of course, this isn't about screwing up computers at all. It's about the people. It is? Reality 2.0 is nothing less than a fiendish plot to hypnotically enslave, well, everyone. Great, <laughs> and it's simple. Yeah. All we have to do is destroy the internet and all our problems are solved. Sybil asked us to tender her resignation. She's got seasonal affective disorder and scurvy. Yep, it's too bad. There is a lot of that going around these Next days. Game. Where can we find this internet? <laughs> the internet is everywhere. <laughs> and nowhere. Divide by zero error. All computers on the planet are now working to create reality 2.0. The only access to the internet is through reality 2.0. I love the fact that, <laughs> that it's outdated machines that are fucking making this super internet. Uh, We'd like to play Reality 2.0. Reality 2.0 requires our advanced virtual reality goggles, which may not be available in some markets. If you already have a pair of goggles, press or say yes now. Sybil has a pair, but there's a broken part. Your goggles explode! Game over! Like a hood, a broken rear slot downstream signal from your staff is good to take her. 99.6%. Distance replacement chip. Stop complaining and just do it. Enjoy your new signal premise and regurgitator chip and experience all that reality 2.0 has to offer. But I want to play too! I doubt they have a pair that will fit around your hideously oversized skull, Max. The whole family can enjoy reality 2.0. Take our complimentary <laughs> goggles designed for special needs children so that the little ones can play along. Anyway. Goodbye. You cannot escape. <laughs> you have to excuse him. He has a hard time saying goodbye. Listen up, cops. Okay. That's just talking to them. See you guys later. End of line. I like how this is just a fucking dark, dank room. You know that? <sighs> anyway. We've got to access reality 2.0 itself now by fixing the little thing. We've got a computer chip. Use on the uh, VR goggles. That's how it works. The chip snapped right in. No soldering required. Ah, 
You know how I like to burn things. Cheer up and put on the pork kicking boots, little buddy. We're gonna have to play this game to get to the bottom of the world's internet crisis. It's a good thing your protective hat and my non-compatible brain render us both impervious to hypnotism. And it's a good thing you've been taking those classes in subtle exposition, pal. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, where it gets fun. Hey, me. I had a dream like this once. You sold me a defective walrus and then vanished in a puff of orange smoke. Welcome to Reality 2.0, the perfect place of perfect happiness. I'm your host, the Internet. I didn't think the Internet had a face. <laughs> Reality 2.0 is a lot like Sybil's office. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Sam still looks the same. That's because I'm already perfect. <laughs> Reality 2.0 simulates your world and leaks it to cyberspace while providing a clever fusion of popular gameplay styles guaranteed to amuse the statistically average person. It's everything for everyone. I'm kind of legit surprised that this hasn't become an actual reality yet. You know that? What Reality 2.0? I feel like someone would have invented this by now. Like in real life. But this is a beta version of Reality 2.0. You know? <laughs> Enjoy your new reality. Hey, wait. Internet? Hello? Nuts. <laughs> nuts. Uh, nuts. Anyway, so now we've, uh, got a... We're in reality 2.0 now. The Grand Truck in Tokyo. There's a conspicuous yeah. golden glow coming from the crack underneath this door. There must be loot in there. Open the door, Sam. I can't, you deficient little monkey. It's locked. The bunch of the cat photos. This must be Sybil's cat. Given the alternative, I certainly hope so. <laughs> must say. Nauseatinglycute.com. How nice. Sybil set up part of her site just for me. Yes, but only half. <laughs> you got some Testing. lips. Testing. Reality 2.0 has this convenient audio log feature. This seems like a great way to keep notes and communicate with other players while I'm beta testing. And there's just Sybil herself here. Sybil, you're still here? I didn't think you could be in the virtual reality without the goggles. Hello, fellow travelers, and welcome to Sybil's virtual reality homepage. Please look around and enjoy. Huh? It, it's not Sybil, if you couldn't tell. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Look, Sybil's creepy fox is here. It's like the twisted collaborative brainchild of Timothy Leary and Lewis Carroll. Reality 2.0 emulates the design sensibilities of unavailable authors programmatically by applying heuristic statistical methods to sample the text. Sounds like Hokum to me. <laughs> anyway, he's a visitor counter. Doesn't look like Sybil's had too many visitors. Maybe she should try offering complimentary hot chocolate and selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Like they do at the public library? Good idea. Anyway, let's exit from Sybil's office. And this is a uh, reality 2.0. I forgot Lyra Stump was here. Look, Max, some form of oversized currency just hanging in the air. Ten out of ten surveys that will agree. No known experience. I like how um. A raw exhilaration of repeatedly leaping for things floating just out of one's reach. It's science, Sam. <laughs> I like how the fucking um. The song is 8 bit. There's a bunch of like. The street has not been found. But it's right here! Well, some of it anyway. Reality 2.0 is currently at beta status. Some features may be unavailable at this time. Hey, wait! You can take off the uh, goggles too, by the way, whenever the hell you want. She's obviously a female cop. <laughs> Actually, I'm a computer program. Antibiotics. I guard the internet from nasty, crippling germs and diseases and make sure only legitimate mail gets through. Like religious Damn virus protection. For performance enhancing medications. <laughs> from Canada? Yeah. I don't 
don't suppose you know anyone by the name of Myra Stump? Oh, sure, sweetie pie. I have to block a ton of her fan email every day. The resemblance between you and Myra is eerie. Really? Well, <laughs> it's nice of you to say, dear. The internet designed this reality, you know. It picked some of its favorite public figures to represent different functions. You know, to make you player types feel more comfortable. You know the reason I forgot she was in this one? Why? This is like the only other time she appears throughout the whole thing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's probably still my favourite episode so what far. What exactly is the symbolism of this? Really? The TV set one. You mean you're not familiar yeah. with the Amorani Masterworks line? In terms of jokes, yeah, I guess. But like, this one is pretty good in terms of puzzles, I've got to say. Which means... Anyway, so um, there's a control room there, but we're not gonna mess with that yet. Read only. Okay, only. <laughs> now you have a ray gun here. Pretty much does nothing. A computer bug. <laughs> For some reason, there's just a. There's a virtual office here. Oh, and there's a recycle bin too. Except it's more like a window set. Well, I guess this is what our office would look like if it didn't exist yet. What? You guys? I swear, wherever I go, there you are. Oh, don't tell me you've become a Buddhist. <laughs> what have you got there, Jimmy? Oh, no. Get away from me. Hand it over, mini jerk bag. I'm not sure if it's obvious, but we kind of need the coins. I'm pretty sure Bosco needs them. I'm leaning towards the hard way. It's mine. Beat it. Now, we kind of can't get in a rat hole. Don't make me come in there. I'd like to see you try, fat feet. They're big bones. Seriously, his metatarsals are massive. Well, then use your ginormous feet to beat it. We can't get in there. However, there is a seriously tricky puzzle with this one. Who was it? Our future. Ah, great college. I love those guys. <laughs> yeah. I like the art style of this um, one, yeah, though, totally to be fair. fair. I know there's just Tetris back there on the wall. Oh yeah, Hugh Bliss is here too. He's the internet wizard. That is one large recycle bin. Say, dear. <laughs> well, if it isn't my recurring nightmare in the artificial <laughs> flesh, the grinning disembodied head of Hugh Bliss. Hugh, I just want you to know that the way you unashamedly use your personal celebrity to thrust your spiritual beliefs on others is an inspiration to us all. I love you, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm not Hugh Bliss. I hate you. <laughs> no, silly. I'm the internet wizard. I'm an entirely ritual being, you see. But I've thoughtfully taken the form of Hugh Bliss to help you understand my role in your new reality. I still hate you. Okay. <laughs> I like how Bosco okay. says e-guns and e-beer. Why don't you show us something magical? I'll do better than that. I'll give you something magical. It's not more magic beans, is it? My mom will kill me if I come home with more of those. No, it's your very own rainbow. A rainbow of lead-based color for your card. Uh, you're giving us paint? <laughs> what the hell? We got something, but you probably didn't see it. Whoops. Cut that out, me. I hate Google Chrome. Let's learn about it. that rainbow customization kit work again? Just use it with your card to express your inner being with all the colors of a rainbow. I'm all out of 
questions. Why not out of answers? Who cares? <laughs> He's mad. <laughs>